What up, YouTube? I just figured I'd give you guys an update on my money. Uh, put some new wheels on it. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys this gold start, and then I'm going to take it over to this parking lot where I usually film my videos because it's usually empty. Yep, pretty much left alone, but first I'm going to start off with giving you guys a cold start of my car. If I can figure out how to set this camera up without it falling over. spot now where I tend to record my videos and so put new wheels on it there are 18s in the front and 20s in the rear pretty decent sized tire it's got a, a 275 series on it and uh it was barely hitting the frame when I first put them on so I'm running a little quarter inch spacer back here in there as you can see uh, the 18s in the front really liking the look um got a set of 24 inch savinis for this i haven't put them on got to get the frame notched and whatnot but you know life kind of holds you up with your plans sometimes uh been a while since i've done a little video on this car i haven't done a actual legit video just for this but it's my ID7 Monte Carlo. It's got the 2015 Camaro SS seats, front and rear. It's got the speakers in there, black headliner, velvet, door panels done. It says floor mats. Don't mind the little garbage in here. I just had took this to the car show about a week ago and I haven't cleaned it yet since then. I think it looks pretty good, damn good, with the 18s and 20s staggered setup. Uh, there's also more stuff that I've done under the hood since the last time YouTube seen this car. And if you guys don't know, it's got a uh, LSA supercharger on it. It's a uh, pretty fun car. B&M ratchet shifter. Now, when I first swapped this car, it had an LQ4 in it. Blew that up last year. So this year it has an LQ9 in it. And it's pretty much all done, but stock rotating assembly, everything else has been done. Uh, Holly headers, LSA. Put aluminum radiator in here with some electronic fans. Since last time, it's pretty rowdy, fun ass car. Keeps blowing belts off. <laughs> So I've had to replace a few belts so far. Um, yeah, it's got ICT billet uh, accessories up on the front. The alternator bracket down there. Uh, the dirty dingo power steering pulley. Oh yeah, if uh, you watch my older videos, you'll notice that I had the computer right here, which is on Holly Terminator Max. It's got a 480 tranny in it, circle D billet converter, 2800 stall, and this is where the computer is now. I gotta find a way to get this to cover it, but it won't latch down when that's behind there. Uh, I don't think it looks terrible though, I mean, whatever. I built
build this car for me, not for other people. I know everybody's always, oh, hey, gotta do this, gotta do that. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't care. Um, of course, it's starting to sprinkle right now. <laughs> but I also have, I was wondering if anybody who's watching this video has ever put, uh, I think they're fifth gen Camaro brakes, Brembo's. It's uh, four piston calipers, 14 inch rotors. Same Camaro that I got the seats from. I grabbed the brakes for all around. And I know you can buy a bracket for like the Corvette brakes, but is there, does that also work with the Camaro brakes as well? So I know there's probably people thinking, oh, he's got drums on it still. Yeah, it's a work in progress. The car isn't done. It's still getting in the process of being 100%, but I think I'm at a pretty good start right now. Um, I'll show you guys what's in the trunk too while we're here. Yeah, these are the Savinis, but the ones I had, I didn't paint to match the wheel, but the wheels themselves are painted red and white to match. Um, and I just haven't, I don't know, debating if I even want to put them on. Let me know what you guys think if I should leave it the way it looks now, but got two 12 inch cab ultra 12s with the custom built box for this I'm probably gonna have to end this video early since it's starting to rain as you can see <laughs> got the tops off so I definitely want to get on back to my house so thank you guys for watching let me know what you guys think if I should leave these wheels on or put the Savinis on it I know a lot of the older fellows will respect these wheels better i did have the fucking rally wheels on here but it's okay to change it up every once in a while 